Hello, busy breakers. Today we are exploring one of my favorite ways to take a break from the busy, and that is on a Disney cruise where you can spend time together as a family and time enjoying your own individual pursuits. And for parents, that includes the all important relaxing away from your kids. I love Disney Cruise Line for the whole family for that reason. And one of the great ways to come together as a family at the end of the night is dining. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about dining on the Disney Wish. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. My name is Christina and I'm the owner of Showcase the World Travel, a modern travel agency dedicated to helping families take a break from the busy. And I am thrilled to guide you through the magical dining experiences that await you on Disney's newest cruise line ship. So let's dive into a world where culinary delights meet Disney magic. Our first stop is the innovative rotational dining system. This is unique to Disney Cruise Line where you have three main dining rooms. So you might think if you're used to traditional cruising or the perception of traditional cruising, you have one main dining room with one buffet and everyone goes and gets dressed up and everyone goes and eats at the same time. Disney redefined that when they started launched Disney Cruise Line years and years ago. And they're still the only cruise line at sea that employs rotational dining. So basically, instead of one main dining room, you have three main dining rooms. They're all very unique themes and very unique menus. So you have about a sixth of the ship in the dining room at one time because you have two seatings. So you have early seating and late seating and you have three restaurants. So you're only about a sixth of the the cruise ship in each restaurant at a time what's great about these is that unlike a lot of cruise lines which are going to charge you for specialty dining if you don't want to just eat in the main dining this is included in the cost of your meal and so we're talking about the disney wish specifically so let's talk about those three different main dining restaurants that are part of that rotational dining. So the Disney Wish is Disney's newest ship, which means that they're taking dining to a whole new level with some groundbreaking concepts. Every meal here is an immersive story with restaurants inspired to enchanting worlds. You can step into scenes straight out of your favorite movies and dining becomes a part of the storytelling. So the first place we want to talk about is Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure, where you're going to join Anna, Elsa, Olaf, and some friends for a feast in the kingdom of Arendelle. This is not just dinner, it's a theatrical experience, and it combines your mouth-watering cuisine with live performances, making you a part of the Frozen story. Of course, those characters will come around to your table, and it's a beautiful dinner show that brings the magic of Disney into the restaurant. At the heart of all of these experiences are world-class cuisine. It's prepared by top chefs. The menus offer global journeys of flavors and it's made from fresh ingredients. So even though this is included, this is the main dining on a Disney ship, the quality is that of a specialty restaurant that you're going to pay for on any other cruise line. So at Arendelle, you're going to have some Norwegian flavors. You're going to have some steak, which is my daughter's favorite. What I love about Disney Cruise Line is they're always going to come over and offer to cut your kid's steak so that you don't have to and you can eat your food while it's still warm. So such a fun way to really address the needs of parents. That's Disney definitely knowing their ideal client. Then we have Worlds of Marvel. This is an action-packed dining adventure where you play an interactive role in an adventure's mission alongside your meal. It's the first ever Marvel cinematic dining experience and the story unfolds around you. So there's an actual story that you're a part of. Things are happening. There's a lot with Ant-Man who is, you know, causing some causing some commotion and you have to help get out of the problem that happens. 
It's not super interactive. You just kind of press a few buttons on your table, but it's really, really fun to live in that exhilarating world of superheroes while you savor dishes inspired by you know, Marvel locales. There's, you know, Pim things. Some are really big, some are really small. They have schnitzel, which is one of my favorite things ever. And while we're talking about Disney dining, we'll get to the pool deck. But for some reason on Disney ships, the pool deck chicken fingers are the best chicken fingers in the entire world. Mm -hmm. And I spent my entire cruise talking about how much I love the chicken fingers from my past cruises. And that's what I was looking forward to for this cruise. And we went to Worlds of Marvel and one of the jokes, not to spoiler alert, it's not going to spoil anything, but one of the jokes in the, in the show as a part of Worlds of Marvel is how much that Paul Rudd or Paul Rudd's character. I'm sorry, it's escaping me at the moment. I can't think of Ant-Man's name. That's going to drive me crazy. But he talks about how much he loves the chicken fingers. And so my whole party just thought that was hysterical that the chicken fingers are so good that it's now a part of this, this show. And I just wasn't, you know, crazy about chicken fingers. The last dining, ex rotational dining experience on the Disney Wish is a, a step back in time to the golden age of Hollywood. It's 1923. It's named for the year that the Walt Disney Company was founded. And here's where you're going to have an elegant dining experience playing homage to the legacy of Disney animation. It offers a sophisticated menu that celebrates California's gourmet heritage. So it's a little bit more elevated than the other two experiences. You're surrounded by artifacts and sketches from Disney's rich history that really elevates the atmosphere. It makes it both nostalgic and luxurious and you feel like you're a part of Disney history there. So that is an excellent dining experience as well. So those are the three that are included with your rotational dining. Like I said, Disney doesn't do a ton of specialty dining like many other cruise lines. They do have two specialty restaurants and that's because they're adult only. So this is catering to those adults seeking moments of escape and elegance. And those havens of sophistication, if you will, are Enchante and Paolo. So they're two adult exclusive dining venues that promise an evening of culinary delight. What I don't love about the Disney Wish is it's currently doing three and four night itineraries. So if you do a four night itinerary, you really don't have an opportunity to try everything because you have the three rotational dining experiences and Pirate Night, which is a different menu that's available in all three of the dining locations. So because it's only doing four nights, we didn't get a chance to try either of these. So we're going to have to go back and try it. I have done Paolo on the Disney Fantasy because that was doing seven night sailings. So Remy and Paolo on the Disney Fantasy I have experienced. And if they're anything like those, they are going to be incredible. So let's first step into Enchante because this is the this is exclusive this is exclusive to the disney wish and it's helmed by the world-renowned chef arnaud lalament and it offers an exquisite menu that's both an exploration of global cuisines and a tribute to the art of gastronomy the restaurant's intimate setting and breathtaking design is inspired by the enchanting lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. So that's why it's called Enchante, and it provides the perfect backdrop for a romantic dinner or a celebratory meal. Each dish is a masterpiece, and every bite transports you to a world of culinary excellence. Then there's Paolo, an enduring favorite among Disney Cruise Line guests. It's reimagined aboard the Disney Wish, and here, Paolo continues to celebrate the rich flavors and heartwarming comfort of Italian cuisine. It does have some inspiration from Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. And it's, you know, handcrafted pastas, decadent desserts. Each dish is a love letter to Italy's culinary traditions. Dinner here is excellent, but I do prefer brunch to dinner at Paolo. Um, it is just, the, I think, a little bit of a step above the dinner experience. It's an upscale, cozy atmosphere combined with the panoramic ocean views, which is perfect to just have a nice night together as adults while your kids are in the kids' club. The Disney Wish is designed to enchant every guest, right? Ensuring that the magical dining experiences aren't limited to the theme restaurants or adult exclusive experiences. There's casual and convenient dining options on board as well, including Marceline Market, 
pool deck dining and the comforts of in-room options. So Marceline Market is named after Walt Disney's early childhood hometown, Marceline, Missouri, and it's the heart of casual dining on the Disney Wish. It's available for all three meals a day, so if you don't want to go to the dining room and have a full meal, you can always use the go up to the buffet but this isn't an ordinary buffet it's a bustling marketplace that's a collection of themed stations so each station will offer a unique culinary journey fresh globally inspired dishes classic comfort foods every palate is catered to in this relaxed family friendly atmosphere so whether you're grabbing a quick breakfast before a day of adventure or enjoying a leisurely lunch it makes dining effortless and enjoyable for those sun-soaked days where you just don't want to leave the deck, the pool deck dining offers an array of quick and tasty options right at your fingertips. So there's a bunch of different stations. There's a taco station. There's a pizza station. So the, they're all named slightly different things. But we're just going to call it the collective of pool deck dining because this makes sense for all of the Disney cruise ships. So you can enjoy savory snacks, refreshing beverages, ice cream, unlimited ice cream, without straying too far from the fun or your lounge chair. And this is where you're gonna get those world famous chicken fingers. Please try them <laughs> and and let me know what you think. For some reason, they are, they're standard chicken fingers. I don't know what they did to make these standard chicken fingers so amazing, but they are so good. Unlimited ice cream, the pool deck is great. But there are those times where you crave privacy or simply wish to dine in the comfort of your own room. And in-room dining is included in the cost of your cruise and it's available 24 seven. So it's a comprehensive menu that ranges from hearty meals, light snacks and sweet treats. So if you want your Mickey waffles or your Mickey bars, those can be delivered to your room. My daughter always loves a good breakfast in bed during a cruise. If you want a family movie night with popcorn and, and ice cream or a quiet romantic dinner as the ocean waves lull in the background, in-room dining ensures that every meal is just as magical as the ones enjoyed in the ship's restaurants. So that is a small taste, see what I did there, of the extraordinary dining experiences waiting for you on the Disney Wish. This is your invitation to set sail on a culinary adventure where Disney stories come to life and every meal is a memorable part of your voyage. One of my top meals that I've ever eaten is was on a Disney Cruise Line ship. So I have traveled, I wouldn't say all over the world, but I've traveled quite a lot. And you know, one of my top five meals is in this little tiny place in New Orleans and then a Michelin restaurant in Paris, then a fine dining restaurant in Nashville and the split pea soup at Remy's on the Disney fantasy during the Remy brunch are some of my favorite dishes around the world. So every meal is memorable on a Disney cruise. If you are ready to embark on your family's incredible experience, reach out to us at Showcase the World. We would love to help plan your magical Disney cruise, help you select the right ship, the right stateroom, the right itinerary for you and your family. So don't forget to subscribe for more Disney tips and travel inspiration. Until next time, keep dreaming and don't forget to take a break from the busy. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.